the question is what was the most important for you in your experience for the transformation of consciousness for me it was nature uh discovering the beauty and the grandeur and the stillness of the natural world because i was born in a city with no contact with nature my parents were not interested in nature and but i always felt a yearning inside me for contact with with nature so when i was a child when i was maybe 15 or 16 years old i would go to the local park in the evenings on my own or the fields of my local school in the evening and i would just wander around so i always felt that there was um this yearning for contact with nature then when i was older i became able to travel alone so i spent a lot of time walking in the countryside swimming in the ocean swimming in lakes and for me discovering the beauty of the natural world was a it was transcendent it was um it was awe inspiring it was ecstatic even now you know i feel the same now when i when i swim in the ocean when i walk in the countryside even when i look at the sky on a beautiful evening or when i look at the sky at night time and i see the stars and the moon i feel ecstatic you know i feel that i'm in contact with spirit and but, but certainly when i was younger you know um looking back i feel that there was an innate spirituality inside me which wanted to express itself it wanted to emerge but i didn't understand it i had no background in spirituality or religion my parents had no background in spirituality or religion so i felt a little bit confused i didn't understand myself i didn't accept myself but when i discovered nature it was like ah oh, you know this is this is where i can feel at home this is where i can feel at peace and this is where you know the spirit inside me can connect with the spirit in the natural world and so i felt a strong sense of connection with spirit you know in the natural world yes yes i understand this is something that happens this is a sort of grace that happens but if you would say how to how to let this grace happens because maybe for people this doesn't happen mm. what happens inside that allow us to to feel and to dialogue with this and let the spirits flow mm. for you if you maybe think on mm. it's I, um... one don't Mm. Yeah, well you have to you have to come down from your mind into your body and you have to let go of your mind, you know? You have to allow thoughts to quieten down. You know, a lot of the time, particularly when we live in cities and we live our busy everyday lives, our minds become very active very stimulated and we kind of disconnect from our bodies we disconnect from the environment and we disconnect from our bodies we have a very narrow consciousness you know but so we need to let go of our mind centered consciousness and allow our attention and our being to flow throughout our bodies but i think that that happens naturally when we are in nature you know if you spend a few hours walking in the countryside then your mind slowly quietens down you integrate into your body and slowly you begin to connect to your surroundings it happens when you know when you swim if you swim in the ocean or in a lake 
then you know you lose your mind centeredness and your being spreads throughout your body you become your body again and when you become your body you connect with the environment you know the body is of the same nature as the environment is the same nature as lakes or hills mountains trees everything so when you connect with your body you also connect with the whole of nature ah, this is perfect this is perfect this, that's all <laughs> you said everything <laughs> all right Thank you are on the same page it's perfect. yeah yeah i feel people 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 sometimes say to me uh you know i've got some i can get hold of some ayahuasca uh do you want to take some dmt but um i i you know i'm, I'm curious but and I, I have taken lsd when i was younger i took magic mushrooms when i was younger but these days i just feel like um you know i can i can walk in the countryside i can, I can swim in the ocean it has the same effects on me yeah. like the same kind of this is the reason why i ask you but what happens because why person take ayahuasca every week for years how mm. they came and they are not enlightened yet <laughs> yeah and doesn't happen something and for someone happens you know mm. but exactly what you said you enter the body the body is all the forces of nature exactly but someone can't understand this or are not able to recognize maybe mm. the recognition of that yeah they don't allow themselves to recognize maybe mm. Some people have strong boundaries. You know, some people have very soft boundaries. Yeah. Some people are very susceptible to spiritual experiences, psychic experiences, creativity, because they have very soft boundaries. You know, the, their ego is not really separate. You know, they're integrated into their bodies, into their unconscious, into their superconscious, and also into their environment. All the people, their boundaries are maybe just too strong to allow these experiences to happen. They need to, maybe they need to do some work to soften their boundaries. Yes, perfect. Mm. Thank you.